Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and in this video I want to show you how to screen record on Windows 11 or even Windows 10 using Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint application on my computer, and so you notice I have the PowerPoint pulled up. So what I need to do is find the record tab within your uh, ribbons up at the top. So you'll notice right now you probably were on the home screen. I have a blank slide open, and the reason being is because one of the ways it's going to screen record your desktop is by inserting the screen recording video onto your slide and then you can export it as a video file to share out that's one way um, but there's another way to get it to save directly to OneDrive, um, and it'll prompt you to do that if this is your first time doing it so go ahead and click on the record ribbon at the top of your screen and then you'll notice there is a screen recordings clipping so you can record actions on your screen related with audio or without audio and insert them into your presentation. You can also save it to OneDrive or export it as a video file. So I clicked on screen recording and then you'll notice at the top of my screen, I have a little toolbar. This is my PowerPoint screen recording toolbar. You'll also notice that it's prompting me to get my screenshots on all of my devices by saving it to my OneDrive account. If you have OneDrive installed onto your computer, you can do that. You can click ask me later, no thanks. I actually do want them to do that, so I'm going to click save to OneDrive, okay? Now you'll notice it's allowing me to select an area to record. I can either select the area to record or record the whole screen. I'm going to select an area. Let's say I'm going to select my entire screen for this demonstration and let it go. So it's now in red. You can have your audio on or off okay you can have your record pointer on or off it'll capture you pointing to the different things on your screen and now i'm ready to record i'm going to click record windows logo key plus shift q will stop your recording so again to stop your recording you will need to click the windows key which is the four little squares on your computer shift and q that will stop your recording okay windows key windows logo key shift q to stop your powerpoint screen recording so it is being recorded you do see that the toolbar is still up there you could pause it um depending it it might go away if you hover over on the top it comes back say away hover over the top of my mouse it comes back okay so i'm teaching somebody go to the settings and i'm screen recording this is what you do and thank you so much for watching i'm going to click Windows Shift Q on my computer. Now you'll notice this is already in my PowerPoint. That's why I had a blank slide. It gives me great designer formats on the side if you have the designer tool pulled up. So there's a few things that you can do. If you want this screen recording within your PowerPoint, great. So you can notice it's playing Q my screen will stop recording. Your recording. So again, if you want to export this as a video file, you can also do that. From your record, you can then click export to video and the exported videos will uh, be exported as a video file. So if I click on export to video, I can then name my screen recording presentation. Um, I can select where I want this to go and I can now click export video. It's exporting my video and then I can share that screen recording with someone else. There are a lot of great other applications and tools to use for screen recording. I am showing you how to do this because PowerPoint is most likely already installed on your computer. So it's easy to quickly grab that screen recording, save it into your presentation, or save it as a video file. I hope this video helped you learn how to screen record on your Windows computer. If this video was helpful, please like this video, share it out with anyone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and I will catch you in the next video.